Yo, what's up, family? This is your guy, Tanner, the bad boy of tech. And this right here is a different type of video. Usually I'm reviewing phones, computers, tablets, or whatever. But this time, I'm reviewing my first smart TV. Because, peeps, a couple of days ago, I went into Walmart and they had a sale going on. And they had this 43-inch Vizio 4K smart TV on sale for $300. So for that price, I had to check it out. So people, I'm about to take you on a tour of the TV and let you know exactly how I feel about it. So enough of me yapping, it's time to make it happen. Let's go. Now, as far as the design of the TV and everything, yeah, it's 43 inches and everything, very minimal bezels on deck. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, yes, sir. And as you can see on the screen, these are the apps that it comes with. It comes with Netflix, Prime Video by Amazon, YouTube, Watch Free by Vizio, Hulu, YouTube TV, Crackle by Sony, Zumo, iHeartRadio, Redbox, and Vudu. No question about it. Man, as you can see, for $300, man, the picture ain't that bad. Now let's go ahead and check out the ports and everything on this boy. Let's get it. All right, now we're about to check out the ports and everything. There's that Vizio logo on deck. Yes, sir, yes, sir. There's the vent and everything so the TV can breathe. And back here are your audio outs and everything. You got the RCAs right here, the opticals right there, and some extra ones right there. Just for like regular basic stuff and everything. Usually, I plug my stuff up, if I got a sound bar or anything, to the optical output. Because that optical output right there is 100% digital audio. And it's no doubt the best sounding jack that you got on the back of your TV. And here are your video jacks. Yes, indeed. If you still got wired cable or anything, right there is the coaxial port right here at the bottom. Then you get three HDMI ports and a USB port. And I know you're probably wondering, where does the sound come from? Well, on this TV, it has downward facing speakers. So the audio comes from up under here. You know what I'm saying? It might come from the bottom, but it's very clear and you can hear everything that's on the screen. Now for all the spec heads out there, if you're wondering what's the refresh rate on this TV, it's 120 hertz. So that's pretty damn good for me. I'm not a gamer or anything like that. I just watch TV and YouTube and everything and 120 hertz will get it done. And as far as the remote control goes, I love the design. Very minimalistic, very functional and everything. Just enough buttons. This ain't back in the days when the more buttons that you have on a remote, the better the TV was. No sir, no sir. Then it got the shortcut buttons for the apps. You got Voodoo right there, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Kumo, Crackle, and iHeartRadio. And another very, very dope feature about this TV is that it has SmartCast built in it. Yes sir, yes sir. SmartCast makes it very simple and very easy for you to stream anything or beam anything from your mobile device to your Vizio TV. So if you got Sling TV, all you have to do is open the app on your phone and everything, hit the beam icon, and you're good to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It works for YouTube and all that. I'm just letting you know. So you don't have to have a Fire Stick or a Roku Stick on this device to see everything that you want to see. Well, all right, peeps. I'm about to tell you guys what I'm feeling about this TV and what I'm not so much feeling about this TV. I'm about to tell you the good and the bad. Let's start with the bad first. Now, bad thing number one, the audio from this TV is pretty damn average. Even though it has Dolby surround sound built in it and everything, it's pretty much an average experience, but it doesn't turn me off and it doesn't stop this TV from being great. Bad thing number two, there are only so many apps that come with this TV built in. Man, they could have did better. They could have put Sling on here or something else. So Vizio, if you're watching, man, expand the app palette, if you will, or on the next TV update, man, make Sling TV, Xfinity, or whatever somebody has available for this TV. And honestly, peeps, those are the only two things that I gotta gripe and beef about with this TV. Everything else is pretty damn good. The picture is pretty damn great. It's 4K, crisp and everything like that. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I got enough outputs and inputs and everything enough features on here you know, so to do what I need to do for my viewing pleasure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The streamcast or whatever it's called and everything, it works great. It works flawlessly. This TV right here boots up pretty damn fast and everything. 
and the price is right. Yes, indeed, the price is on point. And man, peeps, y'all can go ahead and check this out at Walmart. And for the audio files out there, and like I said, the audio out of here is kind of bland and everything, kind of basic. Check this fix out. The solution for that is to improve your audio is to get you a nice sound bar. This one right here is a Vizio sound bar. Me, I like to match brands up. So I got the Vizio TV with the Vizio sound bar and everything. And peeps, this is my first sound bar I ever bought. And I thought sound bars were a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be honest. But this boy right here for the price sounds amazing. I got this for 85 bucks. And let me let you hear how it sounds. Yo, what's up everybody? This is your guy Dan Tanner from Tanner So Lit. And this right here is an Xfinity Mobile video. This video right here is not sponsored by Xfinity Mobile, by the way. This is just my honest to God truth opinion of the service and my experience with it. You know what I'm saying? This is my second year in a row with the company. Now, did you see how rich and crisp my voice sounds through the sound bar? Pretty damn lit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A shout out to my guy, Mr. Organic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Subscribe to this channel, please, if you will. Very entertaining guy. Now, back to the matter at hand. This TV right here, for the price point, for the features and everything, gets the Dan Tanner stamp of approval. Put a stamp on it. Well, I had everybody. That just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your guy a thumbs up because that's official. No doubt about it. But if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner and join Team Lit, then do that too, because I appreciate that too. Hi right, there, everybody. Get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. Be easy.